Hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another live session of Sacred Heart Yoga from the sleepy town of Chesney, South Carolina. If you're new to Sacred Heart Yoga, there's four things I always go over real quick so that you understand. It is a little different. Uh, one is the yoga postures are not that important. Uh, if they hurt, yeah, don't do them. You can actually do sacred heart yoga, doing the prayer, sitting in a chair, and you'll get just as much out of it. So the yoga postures are to help heal your body and bring back your youthful vigor that you've always had. The second thing that's really important is that all I will begin the prayers but you must finish them with what is important to you, what is heartfelt to you this day. The third thing that's important is we um, refer to God as God, as the Father, as the Mother, and that's because God is all of these things. He is a oneness. Uh, he's not like us where there's male and female and families. I mean, it's a oneness. It's a one God. And he's our father. He's our mother. That's what we relate to. Uh, but that's human terms, human gestures, and they're all correct. They're all just different aspects of the same God. And the last thing is, the fourth thing for a newcomer, is that we always tone at the end. You say your prayers out loud. I begin them. You say them out loud. And then at the end, we tone, and we say the word OM, O-H-M. And uh, so we'll practice it now three times. You say it at whatever pitch works best for you that resonates in your own head the best. So we'll practice it three times. Om, Om, Om. Now, I thank God, I thank you for this wonderful method of communicating with you, of praying to you, this method of each of us voicing our heartfelt prayers out loud, toning at the end, and body movements that rejuvenate and heal our bodies. And I thank the generations that have brought this method of prayer to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so that anyone, anywhere, anytime can practice this ancient method of prayer. Now, if you will repeat after me, we are going to say the Sacred Heart Yoga prayer out loud. Beloved, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. in service to the one and I allow myself to be purified as I rejoice in the kingdom of heaven and the love of God. And I give thanks for these blessings these moments I share 
with my body and my spirit in oneness. And so it is, amen. Um. Now we're going to clear our energy fields, and that means get rid of any distractions, daily distractions, any worries, any guilt, anything we're hanging on to that might get in the way of our relationship, our prayers, our walk with God. And the way we do this, we begin in, in Sacred Heart Yoga, we keep our hand up to the 12 o'clock position, like the arms of a clock, let them move over to the three o'clock position, down to our right knee, over to our left knee, to the nine o'clock position, and back up to the 12 o'clock position. As you do this movement, repeat after me. I clear my energy field. of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them to the light. Om. Now, distractions will, for me, and, and that's all I can speak about is what's true for me is during Sacred Heart Yoga, I'll get distracted. I'll think about something else that's going on and it'll take me away from the prayers. A wonderful teacher by the name of Christine Lang in Charlotte, North Carolina, taught me the way to get back and, and to get rid of that um, distraction is to let it go, picture it floating away on a gentle breeze, like a ribbon floating away on a gentle breeze, and watch it disappear, and then you'll be able to get back, I'm able to get back to my prayers and concentrate. So it's something that might help you too. Next thing we're gonna do is ask God, how may we serve? Uh, we take our right hand over our hearts, and our answer will come, it always comes to me in just one or two words. I can only speak for what happens to me. Um, and so our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you? Um. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stand and speak aloud what words came to us, and we will say it by saying my intention to serve is to and so we take our hands out, we stand up straight and tall, our hands, our palms forward, and our prayers begin with, my intention to serve is to Um. Now in Aramaic, we seal any agreement. That's Jesus' language is Aramaic. We seal any agreement with the word Amen, said three times. Uh, that's the way contractual agreements or, or an oath to God is made. And so we're going to sing it three times, any way that works for you, any tone that works for you, tune, whatever works. Um. 
Now we're going to sit back down on the mats and lay down on our backs. We always begin and go back to what's called resting position, our arms at our sides, our feet outstretched. The first position we pull our knee up to our, stretch, our chest and stretch it out, pulling it in with our arms and hands. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you for, and Father, I thank you for. Um. Now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pulling it over to our left thigh, and let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm goes extended out down to the mat above our head, straight out and, and flexing down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Now we switch hands, we take our right foot in our right hand, pulling it down to our pelvis, and our left arm this time goes straight up above our heads and stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Oh. Now we take our right foot up and point it towards the heavens, keeping our left arm straight out above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Um. Now we let our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders, palms up and down to the mat is where they fall to, and our right leg goes up into the heavens and then falls out to the right side of our bodies, opening our pelvis. Wide and here our prayers begin with Father, I love you, Father, I thank you. Oh. Now we turn our heads to the right and our right foot crosses our bodies, 
over to the left side and we keep our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. Father, I thank you. Um. Now we go back to resting position. Arms at our side, feet outstretched. And we pull our left knee this time up to our chest and pull it in, just stretching it out, holding it with our hands and arms. And here our prayers begin with Mother, I love you for, and Mother, I thank you for. Oh. Now we hold our left foot with our right hand and pull it over to our right thigh, letting our left knee fall down to the mat, stretching it out. And our left arm this time goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat, stretching out our chest muscles. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we switch hands. Our left foot goes in our left hand, then we pull it down to our pelvis, stretching our knee down towards the mat. Our right hand goes above our heads, straight out and stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, keeping our right arm stretched out down to the mat up above our heads. And we pull our left knee, stretch it down towards the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we let our arms fall straight out to the sides from our shoulders, palms up, out, and down to the mat. And our left leg this time goes up to the heavens and falls out to the left side of our bodies. And we open our pelvis wide, and here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Oh. 
Now we turn our heads to the left and our left leg crosses over our bodies over to the right side and we keep our shoulders down flat on the mat, arms extended, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you. Mother, I thank you. Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. And this time we join the left feminine side of our bodies with the right masculine side of our bodies. And so we pull both knees up to our chest. Stretching out our backs, stretching well. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you for, and God, I thank you for. Um. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, our left foot in our left hand, and pull them down to our pelvis. And the soles of our feet together, our knees out. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Now we keep our feet down near our pelvis, but we separate them, pulling our feet apart, stretching our, our legs. Here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Um. Now we pull both feet up towards the heavens, stretching them, pulling our knees down to the mat as best we can. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Um. Now we let our arms fall straight out to the sides, extended out from our shoulders, this time palms down, and we let our feet come down to the mat near our pelvis, our knees up towards the heavens. And we turn our heads to the left, and our knees rotate to the right, stretching our backs, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I 
Thank you. Oh. Now we turn our heads to the right and we bend our knees over to the left side of our body, keeping our arms outstretched and our shoulders down flat on the mat, palms down. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. God, I thank you. Oh. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our feet outstretched. And here we go into what's called the surrender pose, where we surrender to God anything that might be troubling us, any fears that we have, any guilt that we have. We just surrender it to God Turn it over to God and it will be handled. So the way we do this is we sit on our hands, sit on our hands under our sit bones, and we lean forward on our elbows and we turn, pull the, bend the tops of our heads, try to get it back down towards the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched, and we take our left hand, pointing it up towards the heavens, <clears throat> and we let it, our, our left arm fall over to the right side of our bodies, and we've, so we're stretching our shoulder, and we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and stretch it farther and here our prayers begin with, God, I choose to. Now we switch arms, our right arm goes up towards the heavens and falls over to the left side of our bodies, extending our right shoulder. And we take our left hand halfway between our right elbow and right shoulder and stretch it on over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, I can. Oh, now we put our arms, go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our feet outstretched. And now we're going to what's called the tabernacle series, where we form a series of triangles with our bodies, tabernacles. 
And so we start by pulling our feet up to our pelvis on the mat and let our knees fall out to the side, stretching our pelvis, forming a tabernacle below our bodies, a house of God. And then we form a second tabernacle above our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, lifting our hands up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens, And here we find this beautiful, God's beautiful chalice. And it's filled with any gift, anything we could ever desire from God or to be in service to God. And here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts of Um. Now we take our hands in prayer position over our heads, forming a tabernacle, letting our elbows and our hands go down to the mat, our elbows go down to the mat, forming a tabernacle over our bodies. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for my body, my mind, my soul. Oh. Now we're going into the anointing series where we anoint gifts that we've gotten from God this day. And we is four parts uh, to the anointing series uh, and we'll repeat it three different times so that you can anoint whatever gifts that you want to or the same gift over and over or whatever gift came to you before, but you anoint your gifts from God. So we start by taking our thumbs our hands are always in prayer position in the anointing series. We take our thumbs up to our foreheads and here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips. And here our prayers begin with, God, I bless your gifts of, and I dedicate them in service only to you. Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position, and here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts of Oh. 
Now this fourth position is a moving position where we point our fingers down to our abdomens and extend our hands slowly out to the three o'clock position and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. So we point our fingers down to our abdomens and our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body my mind, and my soul with your gifts of Now we start the second out of three in the anointing series. We take our thumbs back to our foreheads, hands always in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless your gifts of and I dedicate them in service to you. Um. Now we take our hands still in prayer position down over our hearts and here our prayers begin with God, I thank you for your gifts of Um. Now we point our hands down into our abdomens and extend them out to the three o'clock and 12 o'clock positions. And as we do this movement, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, and my soul with your gifts of Um. Now we'll start the third and the final in the anointing series by taking our thumbs up to our foreheads, hands in prayer position always. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless 
your gifts of, and I dedicate them in service only to you. Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts and here our prayers begin with God, I thank you for your gifts of Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens and the motion is out to the three o'clock and then 12 o'clock positions. And as we do this movement, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, and my spirit with your gifts of Um. Now we go back to resting position, our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides, and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle and our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank Thank you for your protection, your safety. Oh. Now we go back to resting position and we roll on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position with our arms and our hands. This time our right leg goes straight out in front of us. Our left foot crosses over our right knee. We hold our left knee with our right arm and our left arm is behind our backs supporting our bodies and we twist our head and our shoulders to the left, stretching our backs. And here our prayers begin with, desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. I desire. Um. Now we hold our left leg straight out in front of us and our right foot comes across our left knee and we hold our right knee with our left arm this time. Our right arm goes behind our backs supporting us and we twist our head and shoulders to the right stretching our backs, and here our prayers begin with, will I am, will I am, will I am, I will. Oh. 
Aum. Now we get up on our knees and put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for Om. The next position is the child's pose where we put our foreheads down on the mat, but we do it a little differently. We form a tabernacle with our tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first finger together, and we put that over our foreheads where we put it down to the mat. And as we do this, we're just going to sit there and feel God, the mother's love, nurturing, creation of new cells and new life forms, and God, the father's wisdom, his knowing, his truth, his doing. And we'll feel it, feel it filling our bodies. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. This time our right leg goes out to the right side. Our left foot comes to the inside of our left, our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, I am. Oh. Now we let our left leg go out to the left side and our right foot comes over to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, I am. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. Our hands are on our knees, palms up, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers. And here we keep our back straight and we bow at our pelvis, leaning forward. And our prayers begin with, I bow to my body, my mind, my spirit. sit back up straight and tall 
keeping our back straight, and we bow a second time at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I bow to you, to my divinity within, Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall, and we feel where we're grounded. Our pelvis is grounded to the earth on the left side of our bodies, the feminine side, and the right side of our bodies. And so we feel on the left side of our pelvis this wonderful white light of the mother's love, her nurturing, her creation of new cells within our bodies, replacing the old cells, her creation of new life forms all over this world. We feel her white light coming up, filling our legs to the fullness filling our abdomens, this white light of love, filling our abdomens, coming up, filling our hearts, and, and feel it just bursting out of our hearts to the world. And it comes up through our lungs, our chests, up into our necks, and up into our heads, filling our minds with the peace and love of God the Mother's nurturing. And the white light goes up throughout the tops of our heads, up into the heavens. And it rains down all around us, all over the world. And now we feel the Father's blue light, his light of truth, of knowing, of wisdom, his light of doing. The blue light fills our legs with his knowledge, his truth. It fills our abdomens with every cell in our bodies with his truth. It fills our hearts with his truth. It fills our lungs, our throats. This blue light fills our throats up through our heads. And so he gives our minds the peace of knowing, the peace of truth, the peace of doing. And the blue light comes out the tops of our heads up into the heavens. And it showers down all around us like the white light at the same time. And now we can step up into the light above our heads. And here we can stay as long as we want, but we ask only one question. That question is, God, what is it that I need to know this day?